disaster movies playing into the cultural anxieties of the 1970s is insightful and resonates strongly with the themes that these films often explore. The formula of disaster movies, bringing together a diverse, often conflicting group of people to face a common, overwhelming threat, serves as a metaphor for the societal challenges of the time. In the 1970s, the United States was a nation grappling with significant internal strife. The civil rights movement, the Vietnam War, political scandals like Watergate, and broader cultural shifts created a landscape where the idea of social harmony seemed increasingly out of reach. Disaster movies reflect these tensions by placing characters from different walks of life, different races, social classes, and cultural backgrounds, in situations where they must put aside their differences to survive. This narrative structure taps into the fear that society, with all its divisions, might not be able to hold together under pressure. The disaster movie, in this sense, becomes a cultural mirror, reflecting both the hope and the fear that people can, or cannot, overcome their differences when it truly matters. The survival of the group often hinges on cooperation, mutual understanding, and the ability to see beyond individual or group identities for the greater good. This is a powerful metaphor for the challenges of achieving social harmony in a diverse and often divided society. Moreover, disaster movies underscore the tension between individualism and collectivism, a recurring theme in American culture. While these films often celebrate the heroism of individuals who rise to the occasion, they also emphasize that survival requires collective effort, suggesting that true strength lies in unity rather than division. Smash Up on Interstate 5 resonates with the culture of the 1970s by tapping into underlying fears and anxieties about the fragility of life, the unpredictability of modern existence, and the growing dependence on technology and infrastructure. The film's depiction of a massive freeway accident plays into the fear that life can be suddenly and unexpectedly disrupted, reflecting a culture increasingly anxious about the unpredictability of everyday life. The 1970s saw the expansion of America's highway system, making cars and freeways integral to daily life. But this also led to a rise in traffic accidents and a sense of vulnerability to the dangers of modern infrastructure. The freeway in Smash Up on Interstate 5 symbolizes both progress and peril, a place where the speed and efficiency of modern life can turn deadly in an instant. The film's multi-character narrative, where diverse individuals with different backgrounds are caught up in the same catastrophic event, echoes the broader social concerns of the 1970s. The film also taps into a fear of losing control, both personally and societally. The characters are thrown into a situation where they have no control, mirroring the larger societal fear that despite technological and medical advancements, people are still vulnerable to forces beyond their control. Disaster movies like Smash Up on Interstate 5 play into cultural fears about social harmony and the potential for cooperation in a divided society. Their enduring appeal lies in the way they dramatize these fears while offering a vision, however idealized, of how people might come together in the face of overwhelming challenges. This formula not only resonated with the anxieties of the 1970s, but continues to be relevant in contemporary culture, where questions of social cohesion and unity remain pressing concerns. Smash Up on Interstate 5-inch exemplifies the 1970s fascination with disaster movies, a genre that became especially prominent during this decade. This television film, like many others, tapped into the collective anxieties of the time, fears of uncontrollable events, the fragility of life, and the randomness of disaster. The 1970s was a period marked by social upheaval, economic instability, and a growing awareness of environmental and technological risks all of which were reflected in the entertainment of the era. The film's narrative structure, weaving together various personal stories leading up to a catastrophic event, mirrors the style popularized by Irwin Allen, known as the master of disaster. Allen's big screen epics like The Poseidon Adventure and The Towering Inferno set the tone for many disaster movies, 
both in theaters and on television. These films typically featured ensemble casts, each character representing different facets of society, thereby creating a microcosm of the broader population. Smash Up on Interstate 5 reflects a specific aspect of American life, the reliance on automobiles and the infrastructure that supports them. The focus on a freeway as the site of disaster taps into the real-life concerns of the time, where car crashes and freeway accidents were increasingly common and publicized. While the film itself was not based on a specific real-life event, it drew inspiration from the daily realities of car accidents on California's sprawling freeway system, an issue that was of genuine concern to the public. Other television movies like Death Car on the Freeway also played on these fears, further cementing the freeway as a symbol of both progress and peril. The idea of a serial killer targeting commuters in Death Car on the Freeway adds another layer of terror, transforming the everyday act of driving into a potentially deadly experience. The popularity of these films also speaks to the television movie's role as a medium for exploring contemporary issues in a way that was both entertaining and reflective. Television movies of the 1970s often dealt with topics that resonated with viewers, whether it was the fear of disaster, crime, or the breakdown of social order. The success of Smash Up on Interstate 5 and others like it shows how deeply these themes resonated with audiences at the time. In summary, Smash Up on Interstate 5 is significant not only as a disaster film, but also as a cultural artifact that encapsulates the fears and anxieties of 1970s America. It, along with similar films, highlighted the dangers of modern life while offering viewers a way to confront and process those fears in the safety of their living rooms.